boys and girls. Mrs. Phillips here, ready for a day of great math. We're having lots of fun with geometry. Today is lesson 10.4, and we're going to be classifying quadrilaterals. Now, you may remember that quad means four. So when we're doing quadrilaterals, we are talking about four-sided polygons. What's a polygon? Okay, well, a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four angles, and some of them have special names. And we're going to learn those special names today and what um, attributes each of these special names, these special quadrilaterals have, so that you can identify quadrilaterals when you see them. Okay? So, now a polygon is a closed figure. Okay, and so we have triangles that we did before, and that's a polygon with three sides. Okay, all right, so let's look at this um, d diagram I made <clears throat> classifying quadrilaterals. Well, first of all, I have a four sided figure here, and a, it's a quadrilateral. It has four sides, it has four angles. Okay, now coming down off of that. Here's one of the special names for quadrilaterals, a trapezoid. Now, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has four sides and four angles, but one pair of its sides are parallel, okay? So you can see that this side and this side are parallel to each other. And then the other two sides are not parallel, okay? These are not parallel. So a trapezoid is a very special figure. You got to just look for um, one pair of parallel sides. And coming down off of that, we have what's called a parallelogram with the word parallel in it. So of course, it's going to have some parallel sides. It actually has two pairs of parallel sides as well as four sides and four angles. Okay, and here's our two sides of the parallel. This, this one and this one is parallel, and this is parallel. So opposite sides are parallel, okay? All right. And then coming down off of that, we can go this way. We have a rectangle. A rectangle is also a parallelogram, okay? Because it has two pairs of parallel sides. But how a rectangle is unique is it has four right angles, okay? So that's our rectangle, and then coming off over on this side, because this is also a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel, is a rhombus. And what's interesting about a rhombus is it has four sides that are of equal length. It's kind of like a square, because a square has four sides of equal length, but it is usually leaning, okay, so that it doesn't have the, the four right angles that a square does. So a rhombus is a parallelogram because its opposite sides are parallel and it has four sides of equal length, okay? And then coming down off of both of these is a square. A square can be called a parallelogram. A square can be called a rectangle. A square can be called a rhombus. And of course it can be called a square. That's its most common name. And a square has four sides, four angles, and its angles are right angles, and its four sides are of equal length, and it has two pairs of parallel sides. Opposite sides are parallel, okay? So I'm going to step aside and let you pause the video so you can write down this um, definition, and you can write down this diagram so you can keep things straight. You're going to need that information to be able to do your worksheet today. So I'm going to step aside, okay, and you pause the video and write all this down. You can pause it now. Okay, we're back. Hope you've got it all written down because it's important to have these notes to refer to, okay? And um, you should have come across some of this in your edgenuity um, doing your geometry 
module that I gave you to do. So if you haven't done that yet or haven't started it yet, make sure you get it started so you can um, learn these things. All right, so I've got some shapes over here, and we're going to identify them according to, we're going to classify them according to what kind of quadrilateral they are, okay? So here we have a quadrilateral. How do I know it's a quadrilateral? It has one, two, three, four sides, and it has four angles. Here's an acute angle. Here's an obtuse angle. Here's an obtuse angle, and here's another acute angle. Now, what can I say about this quadrilateral? Hmm. Well, its sides are not equal length. It does not have right angles, but it does have one pair of parallel sides. These two opposites are parallel, but these are not. So it has one pair, one pair of parallel sides. So what would that be? Hmm. I think I hear somebody saying that is a trapezoid. And you're correct. That's a trapezoid. All right? I bet you know what this is right off the bat, right? You're saying square, it's a square. Yes, it is a square. So we'll write that down. But it's also a couple other things. Now remember, a square has four sides of equal length. What other figure did we talk about that has four sides of equal length? Yes, a rhombus. So this is also a rhombus. Okay. What other figure did we say has two pairs of parallel sides and four right angles? Oh, didn't know that a rectangle can be called a square? A square can be called a rectangle. Let me change what I said there. A square can be called a rectangle, but a rectangle cannot be called a square because a square has four sides of equal length and a rectangle doesn't necessarily have that, okay? All right, so we have square, rhombus, rectangle. We have two pairs of parallel sides, which is a parallelogram. That's a long word to write out. But in the word parallel, do you notice they have two L's that make it look parallel? I think that's kind of cool. All right, so we have it's, it's a square, rhombus, rectangle, parallelogram. Um, anything else I could call it? Well, yes, I could call it a quadrilateral. And I could just call it a polygon. So this really has quite a few names it can go by, but we normally call it a square. But on your practice worksheet today, you have to um, identify some of these shapes with every single name that could apply to them, okay? Now sometimes it's just one name, sometimes it's a lot, okay? All right, here we go. This looks, well, first and foremost, we know it's a quadrilateral. And we know it's a polygon. Now let's get specific. What type of polygon is this? It has two pairs of parallel sides. It has four sides and four angles, but no right angles, no right angles. So which one on our diagram would we pick? If you picked parallelogram, you are correct. And we get to write this big long word again, okay? Okay, so it's a parallelogram. So you see some shapes only have one name, other shapes have a couple names, and of course the square has the most names. So if you come across a square on your practice worksheet, it's going to have a lot of names, so be, be ready to write all those down, okay? Listen, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.